you work so hard to get your bush just right. Maintaining it, giving it adequate water, and always being extra careful around it. But about 10 years into the growth of this tree, the center mysteriously started to die. So they hired us, certified arborists, to come and take a look at it. It requires a full analysis of all the different environmental factors to determine what could possibly be the cause of this tree dying back. See that bright sunlight coming just off the roof peak? Could this be sun scolding? Well, maybe, but this tree had grown up in this environment all its life. Why now? The center leads were removed as they died. So just to keep the aesthetic appeal of it, but the dieback seems to be progressively getting worse and not any better. And it's at a point now where the dead branches are pretty obvious and the tree doesn't look as good as it did just a few years ago. So the customer was concerned and wanted to have us take a look at it and see if there's anything we could do to try to preserve it. Root digging. A lot of the, a lot of the times when the tips die back is because there's a root problem. Uh, that could be root rot on top of us taking out the crepe myrtle and on top of uh, it's aging a lot of that stuff put together you yeah. get this problem exactly here. usually a combination of different factors lead to the demise of a tree let's dig down the roots and see if there's anything unusual that may be contributing yeah that's girdle bro look at that look at that yeah but it's not going around it's going no but it's, it's constricting the stem that we're talking about though which this stem is the stem that has the issue want your foundation which is what we call the taper you want your taper to come off like an elephant's foot it'll go like this flares out that's a good foundation when they do it like this it's just a straight trunk and you get a lot of what, what we call root rot it's because the soil is moist look how wet that is and it just it doesn't get any air it doesn't at the base out. of the tree where the trunk meets the ground it should widen that is called the root flare it is the angle of taper now that taper should develop before it actually goes into the ground or else it will just look like a telephone pole, which is not good because the trunk tissue is buried too deep. And so like Mike was saying, moisture, all the moisture really on the trunk can actually. All this outer stuff in the roots. And when that happens, that causes the tips to die out. Hey, you That's why you'll see a bunch of dead up in the top. And people, oh, you're dead. No, it's because the column is starting from the bottom and working the way. I can see you're very passionate about that, Mike. Now this is a maple species, and maple species are known to do very well in swampy or murky or mucky environments. They like wet feet. So I don't suspect that a fungal problem is the issue here. Did you notice how low the branches start on this tree? Less than a foot from the ground. Generally, when I see branching starting so low in the canopy of a tree, that indicates to me that there's a chance this is more than one tree. A lot of times nurseries would plant multiple seedlings all in one pot to ensure there was at least one good seedling in the pot when they go to sell it. And many times those trunks grow so close that it appears to be one tree. Unfortunately, this causes a whole host of new problems. But in this case, this root right here appears to be girdling the stem that seems affected the most. So we have to do something about that. We have to weigh out our options. Removing large roots can further stress a tree out. But in this case, I believe this to be multiple trees and that root probably came from a separate stem than the one it's actually girdling. So I think this will have no effect on the stem that is girdled. Hopefully anyhow, at least not a negative effect. Hopefully this will allow the stem to then be able to expand and fill in the little bit of room it does have next to these other three stems. The reality is trees are living organisms, just like you and I. We have to watch them closely and see what they need. Sometimes trees can be helped or given a longer lifespan by just paying good attention. And if you see something wrong, being proactive about it rather than reactive. If you see a problem, analyze the situation and get right down to it. Try to solve the problem right away. Roots. Instantly go to the garlic root call it situation. Containerized yeah. Because they're being the pots for so long at the nurseries that all the roots circle inside the pot. And when people take them out, they don't shave them, they just stick it in a hole and nothing happens. You can walk right up to the tree three years later, grab it, pull the thing right out, and still containerized. 
and as the tree grows in diameter those circling roots tighten down onto the trunk of the tree and it even slows the tree down even yeah, further right. thanks for watching this episode hopefully i'll see you again here in the best gardens diy where i'm out here living on the homestead and trying to get away from the stress of living on the system this is just a little tip for any gardeners out there thanks y'all y'all have a great day hit the like button and subscribe to this channel it really helps a lot thanks everyone